See that bright object in the sky, that's Andromeda. The closest major galaxy to our Milky Way, and the most distant thing you can see with the naked eye, and it is racing towards us at the rate of 110 km per second. Eventually 5 billion years from now, Andromeda will merge with the Milky Way in a huge galactic collision. Would all the stars and planets suddenly plow into each other? And could our solar system survive this massive crash? This is Mysteries of the Universe, and here's what would happen, if the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxy collided. Such collisions are relatively common, considering galaxies' long lifespans. Andromeda, for example, is believed to have collided with at least one other galaxy in the past, and several dwarf galaxies are currently colliding with the Milky Way and being merged into it. While the Andromeda galaxy contains about 1 trillion stars, and the Milky Way contains about 300 billion, the chance of even two stars colliding is negligible, because of the huge distances between the stars. For example, the nearest star to the Sun is Proxima Centauri, about 4.2 light years or 30 million solar diameters away. To visualize that scale, if the Sun were a ping pong ball, Proxima Centauri would be a p about 680 miles away, and the Milky Way would be about 19 million miles wide. Thus, it is extremely unlikely that any two stars from the merging galaxies would collide. The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies each contain a central supermassive black hole, these being Sagittarius a star, and an object within the P2 concentration of Andromeda's nucleus. These black holes will converge near the center of the newly formed galaxy, over a period that may take millions of years, due to a process known as dynamical friction. Gas taken up by the combined black hole, could create a luminous quasar, or an active galactic nucleus, releasing as much energy as 100 million supernova explosions. Based on current calculations, it is predicted that, there is a 50% chance that an emerged galaxy, the solar system will be swept out three times farther from the galactic core than its current distance. It is also predicted that, there is a 12% chance, that the solar system will be ejected from the new galaxy sometime during the collision. Such an event would have no adverse effect on the system, and the chances of any sort of disturbance, to the Sun or planets themselves, may be remote. Excluding planetary engineering, by the time the two galaxies collide, the surface of the Earth will have already become far too hot, for liquid water to exist. Ending all terrestrial life, that is currently estimated to occur in about 3.75 billion years, due to gradually increasing luminosity of the Sun. When two spiral galaxies collide, the hydrogen present on their disks is compressed, producing strong star formation as can be seen on interacting systems like the antennae galaxies. In the case of the Andromeda-Milky Way collision, it is believed that there will be little gas remaining in the disks of both galaxies. So, the mentioned starburst will be relatively weak, though it still may be enough to form a quasar. The galaxy product of the collision has been nicknamed Milkdromeda. According to simulations, this object is likely to be a giant elliptical galaxy, but with a center showing less stellar density than current elliptical galaxies. Over the course of the next 150 billion years, the remaining galaxies of the local group will coalesce into this object, effectively completing its evolution. So friends, this is it for now, if you like the video, then don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. We'll try our best to bring you such amazing facts about the universe. Till then. Take care and goodbye.